a very quick overview of perspective. Now, forget everything that I just told you, because I'm going to show you the easy way to do it. So when I'm drawing boxes, I don't, I, I, I sort of think about that grid, but I don't really draw it. Um, what I do is I think of, and I learned this tip from Will Weston. Actually, a lot of this comes from Will Weston, if you know who he is. Um, but I use a um, method called fanning and straights. So basically, I draw the front of my box, and the sides of my box, I fan out, right? And then this side, I fan back this way. Then I'll draw this side of the box, and I'll fan that back out this way. Then I'll draw this side of the box, and I'll fan that back out this way. So if you can literally think of like fanning straight, fanning straight, you'll, you'll get boxes pretty well. So let's do it a, a couple more times. And when I say fanning, do you see what I mean? You see how these lines, they, they fan out to some point out here in the distance. These fan out to some point out here in the distance. Somewhere over here is an imaginary horizon line with a couple vanishing points. But I'm not really worried about being too accurate necessarily. I just want to make it feel right. So let's see straight fanning, fanning, straight, fanning, fanning. That one might converge a little tight. Straight, fanning, fanning. Now say I want to do a three-point perspective. I do the same thing, except all my, now my verticals will fan. So let's fan those down. This will be the, let's say the front of my box. We'll have that straight. We'll have this side fan down. This fans back in the space. And this fans back. Fanning, fanning, fanning. Fanning, fanning, fanning. Okay. 